Hi everyone. What I have for you today is more on a somber note. What I want to share with you is a reflection on a cancer diagnosis. I'm sharing this in the context of having lost my mother to cancer when I was 21 and my dad now being palliative with liver cancer. I'm making this video really to give you hope and the courage to face the road that comes with liver cancer. What I want to share with you are some of the lessons that I have learned and I wish someone had shared with me when my family started down this journey. Last year, one of the men in the sauna said to me how the entire family suffers even though it's just one person going through cancer treatment. The first little bit that I have for you to glean from my experience is to share with your core group of friends what you're dealing with so they're able to be there during the emotional roller coaster that is cancer treatment. I also want to encourage you that if you do need to seek professional help, that you're honest with yourself and pursue doing so. There's absolutely no shame in seeking help for your mind. You know, we go to the doctor for our body, we're complex beings, and there's no shame in getting the skill set needed to cope with liver cancer. One of my drivers that takes me to my appointments as I go in my power wheelchair shared a sobering experience that he had. He drove a patient back and forth to the hospital for their cancer treatments and was eventually declared cancer free. This person died two days later from a heart attack. Why I'm bringing this up is not to scare you. I want to encourage you to make the most of each day. We never really know what tomorrow brings. When my mom died, one of the things that was hard for me was that I wished I could have apologized for some of the stuff that happened that I now had the maturity to realize that that I was wrong and wanted to own up to doing. I want to encourage you as best as is possible to try and reconcile if there are differences. Another lesson that I want to teach you, partly from my own physical disability, is to still treat the person who has cancer as a person and not a medical diagnosis. What I mean is they still have the need for human touch just to hang out so their mind's at ease and not focused on the cancer as well as for food and drink that keeps their body healthy. I want to encourage you not to lose sight of this while they're going through their own treatment. 
there's been people in my life who've had a hard time adjusting to what I'm dealing with and friendships have become strained and broken over it. So I want to encourage you to see the person who has cancer as a person and then simply making yourself available to listen, not be a problem solver, but just listen is peace of mind for the person who's going through the treatment. I also would suggest that you learn what the signs and symptoms of depression are so that as a friend you could express concern if you find that your loved one is slipping into depression so they could get the help that they need while their body is still alive and pursuing treatment. You know, my dad made the decision to pursue chemotherapy. I honestly don't know what I would do if I was in his position. What I'm bringing this up for is the whole discussion about quality of life that happens with someone who's going through cancer treatment and how some people will choose not to pursue chemo or radiation treatments just because the side effects of it are so intense. It may not be a decision that you would navigate to in your own life, but it's important to show support and encouragement to whatever a person decides so that like if they're making a decision not to pursue chemo treatment after a discussion with their doctor you still want to be a support so their mind's at ease as the cancer takes its course one of the good things that we have going on for us now is that the effectiveness and the knowledge of cancer treatment has progressed and people are able to live longer as a rule with the cancer than what has happened in the past. I'm not trying to set you up for an automatic hope that someone will live longer because it still depends on their specific case and symptoms that the doctors are treating. But what I wanted to encourage you is to still be a friend in the situation and not allow the person to become isolated and alone in the world as they go through his or her treatment. And I think this is really important because the loneliness to me at least, loneliness would stop a person before their body has, has reached, you know, the life on earth and move into eternity. Finally, I tend to think, or I would encourage you at least to consider being real if you're finding it hard it's not to say that you're not a support to the person who's going through it, but I would encourage you to find out from healthcare professionals how you can best support the person and the symptoms that they've had. You know, one of the questions I had for my family doctor was I got swimmer's ear from using a pool for my physiotherapy. So the question I had was, am I going to make my dad sick with this or have I been on medication long enough that his health won't be interfered with? And it was the same thing with my mother. We were trying to stay away with colds 
it's hard to know what the right thing to do is so I'm encouraging you to ask questions so you're making informed decisions and are being an effective source of support. You know, where I live in Ontario, Canada, there is a call-in healthcare service where you can speak to a registered nurse 24 hours a day. And it's the type of thing where you could pick up the phone and ask a quick question. Maybe you don't need to speak to a doctor. A pharmacist is also a good resource with these things. You know, the time we have on, on Earth is limited. I try to make the best that I can each day with my physical disability. And I hope that you're able to do the same thing as you face the journey together with the person you care about that has cancer. I sincerely hope that something that I've said is able to help you I do my best to monitor the comments on my YouTube channel and certainly if you need an ear and you're okay with posting it publicly, I'll try my best to listen to you in whatever you have to share. Thank you for this time that you spent with me today. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.